Hi everybody, so I will be doing my regular mid-month Zodiac videos around the 15th, give or take a day or two. Um, right now I'm going to get some messages from Spirit, so this is just, you know, whatever wants to come out, whoever needs to hear this. Usually I try to make the title pretty specific so that you can tell if this is your reading or not. Um, but yeah, this could be for one or two people. Sometimes I get very specific messages for people on my channel and then other times it's for, you know, an energy group of 20, 30 plus people. So just, you know, whatever wants to come out, whatever the story is right now. Let's see what we get. Let's see what wants to come through. So we have coffin. We have bad health. have poverty, mature woman, community, unexpected income, sudden wealth. Wow, okay, this is interesting. Courthouse. Imprison what the hell is going on here? Imprisonment. This is interesting. False person. Okay. I think I know what I'm getting here. Hold on. Okay. So I just paused it so I could really look at the cards and you know see what I channel off it. And so this is, okay, so this is a small energy group. This is only for like probably two or three people. And I'm getting a couple different stories here. So for some of you, and this is someone, not don't, don't freak out with the coffin card here. I feel like this is someone that's already passed on or someone that's like older and like you know that they're about to pass on. Like they have like some kind of, you know, terminal disease or something like that. Like you know they only have a few years left. Like this wouldn't come as a shock to you. This is an older person that I feel is in bad health. Um, so I'm getting two different stories here. So there's probably two or three people that are in this energy group and I'm going to do a more general reading because I want to get, you know, but anyway, what I feel here is someone's trying to rip someone off and, and scam them out of their inheritance. So one of the stories I'm getting here is that there's someone that has passed away and, I feel like you have an inheritance that you don't know about because it feels like, and it feels like maybe it's like an older woman that passed away and it's like, you thought you were in poverty. Like you thought you didn't, I don't know. It just feels like maybe you didn't know about this inheritance. Like maybe, maybe this, this could be like a grandmother figure or something like that. And it's like, she didn't want you to know about all the, like maybe she didn't want people asking her for money. I don't know. It just feels like, so for that storyline, it feels like, like with the unexpected income card here, it just feels like you didn't know quite how much money she had. Like maybe you expected like, oh, I'll get like five, ten thousand $10,000 when she passes in her will. And it's like a lot more than you expected. Um, and I feel like with this storyline, it's like the community is helping you with that. It's like sudden wealth, unexpected income. Um, but with courthouse here, it just feels like, what is this? For both storylines, I'm getting that there's people that like want to possibly try to take this away from you. Because we have false person here. You have like this kind of shady energy right here. You know, could even be like a couple or something or like, you know, I'm just, I'm guided to the, this could be like siblings or cousins or something like that or like aunts and uncles. It just feels like people that kind of want to take that away from you. And there might even be something illegal going on here because we have the imprisonment card as well. It's like they want to block you from your blessings, from your abundance. And for some, you might even have to go to court. You might actually have to take them to court. It might be one of those situations where it's like they try to keep this from you. Um, another storyline I'm getting, though, is that this is somebody who is like, like who hasn't passed on quite yet, but you know that they only have like maybe like five years max left. And I feel like for that storyline, I feel like this is somebody that has like 
I'm getting like mental health issues. So I don't know. I think it might be like dementia or Alzheimer's. It feels like um, I just get the energy of them not being very mentally uh, clear. I mean, they're older. Don't get me wrong. Like I do. I feel for both storylines. This is like an older person that's either just passed or is about to pass away. Um, but you, but again, not to freak anyone out because you know about this. This is not going to come as a shock to you. This is like one of those situations where it's like, you know, this person is like in their 90s and they're having to go to the hospital all the time or they're in their 80s. And it's like, you know, that they have like some kind of illness or something like you, you're prepared for this. You know what I mean? This is somebody that's definitely, um, you know, they're very old and they are in bad health. But for the second storyline, I feel like it's also bad mental health. Like I'm getting like dementia or Alzheimer's. And I'm kind of feeling like for that storyline, I feel like this mature woman might actually be um, like a stepwife or something that like wanted to keep this man's son in um, poverty. Like, cause we have, see, we have the same little boy here. It's like, look at, look at her. And she looks like, look at him. Like he looks really like. Like he's not happy. Like look at his look at his energy. Look at his face. It's like he's just not doing well. Cats could be significant for somebody too. It's like he's like resorting to like chimney sweeping. And we have this mature woman, but like look at her face. Like she looks kind of like you see her energy. Like she looks kind of smug. She looks very like like look at how she's dressed compared to how he's dressed. It's like she has all this money, and I almost feel like she's you know playing the like poor widow card. Like poor me. But it, it's like she's trying to block him. I feel like she's trying to like block this little boy from his from his family. It's like she's trying to. I feel like this is like a situation of like a stepmother or um, some kind of mature, like some kind of older woman. This could be like a sister. This could be a stepmother. But it's some kind of older woman that wants to stop this man right here from um, receiving his inheritance. Is kind of what I'm feeling. Because with coffin and bad health, I honestly, I do get a death here. But, but again, it's an elderly person. This is somebody in their, like, their 80s, their 90s. Um, and like I said, this is this wouldn't be a surprise. This is something that you already know about. But it just, it kind of feels like, I feel like this, this like, elderly man that's in bad health, I feel like he's... Um, how do I explain this? I just feel like, like he's got like, like this one for this, for this storyline, it feels like he has like dementia or Alzheimer's or something like that. And I kind of get the energy of, you know, her coming in here and it's like, she's trying to, she's trying to like block his children out or she's trying to block somebody out here. It could be like somebody that was like a son to him or a daughter or somebody that he just cared about. It could be like a close family friend even. It's just there's some kind of energy here where it's like this woman is trying to block out this energy and she's kind of manipulating him because of his bad health, you know, like, see, I almost see this as like her, like, she, like, she looks like, is she like, what is she like writing something down there? It almost looks like, like she's got some kind of notepad she's looking at and I almost feel like she's like writing down his will or like getting trying to get lawyers involved or something and she's trying to convince him because she knows she can you know she just seems very like manipulative honestly and it's like she kind of knows that she can like manipulate him um because of his you know mental decline to maybe give more money to uh to her children or give more, leave more money to her and not leave very much money to his own child or to whoever this is that he loves. It's like, he wants to leave a lot of his money or his, his like real estate or whatever it might be. I'm seeing like a, I'm seeing like a, like a, what is it? It's some kind of like trinket, like some kind of horse. I don't know. Horses could be significant, but anyway, it just, yeah, it feels like he, he, like, he really loves this person. This man that's, like, in poor health, like, he loves this person. He wants to leave a lot of money to this person. But it's, like, she doesn't, this energy doesn't want that. This energy wants to cut them up, cut them away from each other. I honestly feel like if this is your storyline, I honestly feel like there could be something illegal going on here. I almost feel like, I mean, I guess it's not technically illegal, but it, it's almost like she's... It's almost like she's making his will with him, but like she's 
Like he can't do the math because of his mental state. You know what I mean? So it's almost like there's something with like, like forgery, like with like, there's something with like these documents that she has that's really shady. Um, I'm trying to put my finger on it. It's almost like she's like having him sign certain things and he thinks that he's signing to like give this person money, but it's actually her children or it's for her instead. Or it's like he doesn't know how to do the math and it's like she's writing everything out and she's like explaining it to him and he's trusting her and, he, and she's just like, oh, just sign here, just sign here. Like, it's fine. And like, little does he know, it's like, cause he's not all there. That's what I'm getting. Like, he's not, he's really easy to manipulate because he's got some kind of like, like dementia or Alzheimer's or there's something, there's something where he's very innocent. He's very, you know, like, you know how it is. Like if someone's like in their eighties or nineties and they have dementia, it's like, they're not all there. So it's not that hard to manipulate them. And I'm getting that this woman is doing that with this person. Like she is shady and this wouldn't like, you would, you would know this. Like you would, I think you would feel this energy like this. You would feel this person is shady. This would be someone that you like, you never liked this woman. Like you, you could tell this person was a gold digger, like definitely a gold digger energy here for sure. But, um, but yeah, it's like, there's something with like the paperwork. It, it's almost like just the energy I get. It's, it's like, yeah, like she, like he doesn't know what he's signing or she's going over the will with him and like he doesn't know how to do the math so she's like don't worry I'll take care of it for you and I'll just have you sign here um I don't know how it's working though because it's like don't you need like a lawyer involved it, it's almost like I don't know like she's really smart like she knew she somehow managed, like, the lawyer is not onto it. Like, the lawyer doesn't even know what's going on here. Um, I mean, I would say that, like, you know, she's just trying to, like, it, it could be one of those situations, too, where it's, like, he's not mentally all, like, since he's so far gone mentally, where it's not that hard. You know what I mean? Like, it's very simple to be, like, oh, like, I need this money. My kids need this money. And he's, like, oh, yeah, yeah, because it's, like, it's easy to, like, when someone's in that mental state, it's not that hard for her to like redirect him to do what she wants. But, um, yeah, I don't know how she's pulling it. I don't know if the, I don't like, I don't, I don't think the lawyer would be involved. I don't think that would make any sense, but it, it's almost like she's like, there's forgery or like she, there's something weird going on with the paperwork. Um, take that as it resonates. But, um, Yeah, it's almost like it almost feels like there's actually multiple family members that he wants to put in his will and she's trying to block that from happening. Because she wants all the money or she wants it to go to her kids. It seems like a stepmother figure, honestly, I think. But yeah, someone, the overall energy for this, for this, this is a very small energy group. Like I said, probably two, maybe three people in this energy group. This is not for most of you. Um, I do a lot of specific readings on this channel, so I, you know, but just bear with me if this isn't, this is probably not your story and that's fine, but I'm going to do, you know, more of these and eventually maybe it will be. And I also do much larger energy groups too. And my, my twin flame and soulmate and third party readings that I'm going to have coming up are going to be more general as well as my Zodiac readings. So just bear with me, but you know, whatever, in either way, I feel like for people that are in this, this small energy group, I feel like there is unexpected income. There is like sudden wealth, like you there's, there's a lot more, um, there's a lot more in this person's will than you realized. I think that this, this person, this could be like a, like a stepmother, or like some kind of family member that didn't want you to know about this because they're trying to, um, you know, manipulate this person however they can into not putting you in, in their will as much as they had intended to. It's like this person wants to keep you in poverty but the community, it's like your fam. Like there's some people here that are trying to support you against this woman as well. But honestly, yeah, I feel like there could be even something illegal going on for some because we have courthouse, imprisonment, and false person. Like someone might literally be like forging documents. Like this is, you know, if this is your story, look into this. Honestly, look into this. Um... Yeah, I would I would be careful with this. I would get like a I would get a lawyer or I would get someone 
get a third party to sit in when this person's making their will and make sure that they're not being abused. Make sure that, that their will is, you know, what's being signed into. Make sure that it's not just her calling all the shots here. So anyway, I hope this helps somebody. Um, please let me know if it resonates, if this is your story. And uh, yeah, please subscribe if it resonates as well. Thank you for watching.